are quarks? Well, they are fundamental particles, particles that can't be broken down. Protons and neutrons are made up of quarks. And they are... Wait, did you actually think that protons and neutrons couldn't be broken down? Welcome to the 21st century. Actually, welcome to the 20th century. Anyways, there are two basic quarks, which are the quarks that make up protons and neutrons. They are the up quark, which has a charge of a positive two-thirds, and the down quark, which has a charge of the negative one-thirds. The combined charge of all particles that are bonded is only valid as a whole number. So in reality, a single quark can't exist for more than a few Planck instants, the shortest amount of time to ever happen, without bonding or vanishing from existence. A proton is made up of two up quarks and one down quarks, while a neutron is made up of two down quarks and one up quark. Now you may ask, how do quarks bond? Quarks bond through a set of rules known as quantum chromodynamics. Don't be fooled by the name though. Even though chromo means color, quarks are not colored. Chromo refers to how you must visualize these particles while theoretically making up how they bond. The rule of quantum chromodynamics says that, in theory, the mixed color of all bonding quarks must be white, like red, green, and blue, or color and its opposite color, like blue and green. If this rule is followed, the charge of the quarks will be a whole integer. If, measure, if the mentioned rules are met, and there is an ample amount of energy near the quarks ready to bond, the strong nuclear force is emptied out from the ever so tiny space between the quarks. These spaces are called flux tubes and the quarks are connected this way. Contradicting prior belief, instead of the flux tubes at the edge of the quarks, like a triangle, they are through the center of the quarks, stated by computer supercomputer simulations, like the Google's largest computer in the world. So. It's like a Y, not a triangle. However long the flux tube is, all its properties will remain the same except length. And to make a longer flux tube, you need more energy, and eventually you'll get enough energy to make another pair or trio of quarks. So a proton could contain 13 quarks, or 7, as long as its charge is positive 1, and it has 2 up quarks and 1 down quark. Quark. The same applies for neutrons. Here's a table of all existing and known quarks.